Hello 8th graders, this is Baiju 6th, 7th and 8th channel and I am Saurabh. Let me welcome you to the series we call as Rapid Revision, The Last Lap, where we cover chapter under 30 minutes. Full chapter under 30 minutes and today's the chapter is Friction. Yes, today is the Friction. Ka. Simple chapter, easy chapter. This chapter ka basics cover hua hai aaj, and a full full chapter will come in grade 11. So it's a very nice introduction which we have of this chapter called as friction. So let me tell you what you will get by the end of this session. Kya milega? That's a very big question. First thing, you will get full chapter revision under 30 minutes. That's for sure. Second, homework questions are there which I'm expecting you will give me answer in the comment section. Live hai to chat pe de dena, otherwise comment section. Third, Notes and worksheets. By notes of this chapter will be given to you in the description. There is a link. If you go to that link, it will open a web page. There you will see two things. One is downloadable notes. Second is downloadable worksheets. Most important exam questions. Ye dono hai tumhare liye free. Take it with you. Downloadable. Fine. All right. So listen very carefully because we only have 30 minutes. Let's begin. The chapter of friction, we have broken down into these few subtopics, subparts, let's say. Ek hai frictional force and its causes, factors affecting friction, types of friction, friction unnecessary evil, increasing and decreasing friction, and fluid friction. In topics ke ilawa, as such chapter pe kuch hai nahi. You know, rest, everything is just noise. It's okay. But these are most important for exam. So let's begin from the first one. What is friction and what are its causes? That, my friend, is our first topic. Frictional force and its causes. First thing someone can ask you is, Bhai, what is frictional force? Kya hai friction? Ye toh bata do. Chapter ka naam hai. But hota kya hai friction, right? What is friction? Frictional force. It is a force which opposes relative motion between two objects. It's a contact force. Dusri cheez hai na? So frictional force kya hai? Frictional force opposes relative motion between two surfaces in contact. When, why are we saying relative motion? Why do we motion? What is the difference in motion? Mein? Yaar, motion is the same thing. We are seeing relative motion because if both of my hands right now are moving together, what will you say? My right hand is in motion or not? Yes. My left hand is in motion or not? Yes. But both of my hands are moving with respect to each other. What are they doing? Are they moving or not? They are at rest. With respect to each other, ye wala hat kya bolega? Bhai, tum to rest pe ho. So with respect to each other, they are at rest. That is the reason we say relative motion. Ek dusre ke respect me motion hona chahiye. Tick, fine. So that's why this relative motion word is kept over here. Friction kya hai? Force hai. Hamesha oppose karega. Kisko? Relative motion ko. That's for sure. And when surfaces are in contact. Easy. Okay. What are the causes of friction? Bhai, hota kyu hai friction? Kya dikkat hai friction ko? Kyun baar baar aise a jata hai? Tangana ne hai bhai, kya dikkat hai? So, what are the causes of friction? You can think interlocking between irregularities. Bhai, when we have two surfaces which look smooth, but wo smooth hota nahi hai. If you go microscopic, if you see very very close lens se or microscope leke aaja hoge, you will realize surfaces which look smooth, they actually have these irregularities. Isko bol sakte ho, hills and valleys. Surface lagega upar se smooth, but andar se kaisa hoga? Aise, 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 right? So when two surfaces come close to each other, you can say they start aise, aise, interaction ho jayega. Ek dusre ko na aise, hills and valleys will interlock among each other. So we say interlocking of irregularities is one reason, correct? Because surfaces are not, are not actually smooth. Very close if you go, if you go microscopic, you will see the surfaces are rough and these irregularities, they interlock among each other. Second, bond formation. When two surfaces are very close to there are small, small attractive forces which come in place. This we call small, small, you know, permanent, nahi, temporary bonds. Ban jate, right? So adhesive bonds, like adhesives, you might have seen, no? Glue, what do they do? They get stuck, right? They get stuck, they get stuck, if you get close to them, okay? So, adhesive bond formation or stickiness takes place between any two surfaces in contact. Fine. So, adhesive forces come into place. So, there are two reasons you can say. What? One is interlocking, second is adhesion. Fine. Two reasons for friction. Fine. Now, what are the factors on which friction depends? Few factors are which we all can think intuitively. First, what is the first factor? What is friction? 
अपोजिंग फोर्स है डिपेंड किस पे करता है जितना रफनेस होगी ना सो पहला यू कैन से नेचर ऑफ सरफेस भाई सरफेस अगर रफ है इफ सरफेस इज रफ यू कैन वेरी वेरी श्योरली से फ्रिक्शन इज गोइंग टू बी मोर इफ सरफेस इज स्मूथ इफ सरफेस इज स्मूथ मीन्स इेगुलरिटीज असलेस है ना है ना वो जो ऐसे ऐसे था इेगुलरिटीज थी वो थोड़ी कम हो गई हैं तो आप बोल सकते हो क्या सरफेस स्मूथ है ना तो इंटरलॉकिंग कम होगा तो फ्रिक्शन कम होगा सो रफ सरफेस मोर फ्रिक्शन स्मूथ सरफेस लेस फ्रिक्शन सो इजी राइट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज इंटरेस्टिंग वर्ड वी कॉल इट द नॉर्मल फोर्स और वेट यू कैन से भाई देखो नॉर्मल फोर्स क्या है इट इज द प्रेसिंग फोर्स बिटवीन टू सरफेस दो सरफेस के बीच में कितना प्रेसिंग फोर्स है यानी कि ये सरफेस दूसरे को कितनी फोर्स से प्रेस कर रहा है और ये सरफेस दूसरे को कितनी फोर्स से प्रेस कर रहा है उसको हम बोलते हैं नॉर्मल फोर्स सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन से अगर आपका वेट ज्यादा होगा इफ यूर वेट इज मोर यू विल प्रेस द सरफेस मोर फ्रिक्शन विल बी मोर राइट इफ यू प्रेस मोर इट विल गो डीपर इन साइड एंड मोर मोर इंटरलॉकिंग विल हैपन सो दैट्स वाई यू कैन से आर नॉर्मल फोर्स मोर फ्रिक्शन इफ नॉर्मल फोर्स इज मोर इफ दिस प्रेसिंग फोर्स बिटवीन टू सरफेस इज मोर फ्रिक्शन विल बी मोर लेस नॉर्मल फोर्स लेस फ्रिक्शन वेरी इजी करेक्ट ओके टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन फ्रॉम हेयर लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम इस टॉपिक से ना बड़े सारे क्वेश्चन आते हैं बड़े फ्रीक्वेंटली आते हैं सो प्लीज प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस रियली वेल है ना बहुत जरूरी समझना है इसको टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन क्या है भाई देखो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड वी ऑफन टेंट टू गेट कंफ्यूज ज्यादा कौन कम कौन देखो पहली चीज स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन वॉट इज स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन यू आर अप्लाइंग फोर्स ऑन अ बॉडी एंड द बॉडी इज नॉट मूविंग वाई you are applying force the body should move right because of newton's laws of motion if you think if there is a net external force a body should move you can see your force being applied but who is there who is opposing your force because the body is not moving which means someone is cancelling your force kon hai wo friction hai wo right so that is friction so static friction is if you are applying force on a body and the body doesn't move That friction is called as static friction. कब तक लगेगा जब तक body static रहेगी rest पे रहेगी Until the body is static or at rest, this friction will be called as static friction. And hence the name static. Body की बात है यहां पर static. ठीक Okay. Next, you apply more and more and more and more force. Body move नहीं कर रहा है So all of these frictions are static. तुम जितना फोर्स लगाओ लेकिन बॉडी मूव नहीं करेगा सो ऑल ऑफ दिस फोर्स विच फ्रिक्शन इज अप्लाइंग विच इज वेरिएबल जीरो से लेके मैक्सिमम वैल्यू तक इट कैन चेंज मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज कॉल्ड एस लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन बाय द वे द वर्ड इज नॉट देयर इन इन एनसीईआरटी बट वी ऑल नो दैट राइट सो स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन कैन चेंज इट्स वैल्यू वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड बट द मोमेंट बॉडी स्टार्ट टू मूव जैसे ही बॉडी मूव करना चालू करेगा देन द वैल्यू ऑफ फ्रिक्शन विल डिक्रीज अ लिटिल बिट थोड़ा सा फ्रिक्शन डिक्रीज हो जाएगा उसको हम बोलते हैं स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन तो स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन कब आता है वेन एवर अ बॉडी इज स्लाइडिंग है ना मूविंग ओवर अनदर सरफेस जब एक बॉडी दूसरी सरफेस के ऊपर ऐसे स्लाइड करेगा घिसटेगा सो दैट्स फ्रिक्शन विच वी कॉल एज द स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन और यू कैन से काइनेटिक फ्रिक्शन और यू कैन से डायनामिक फ्रिक्शन है ना स्लाइडिंग काइनेटिक और डायनामिक बहुत सारे नाम है स्लाइडिंग इज द मोस्ट कॉमन काइनेटिक डायनेमिक ठीक है वैल्यू ऑफ स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन इज कॉन्स्टेंट स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन का वैल्यू चेंज हो सकता था इट वॉज वेरिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू अ मैक्सिम वैल्यू कॉल्ड इज लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन द वैल्यू इज सेम करेक्ट वेन बॉडी सर्फेस मूव रिलेटिव रिलेटिव टू अदर सर्फेस इज कॉल्ड इज द स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन रोलिंग फ्रिक्शन क्या होता है वेन एन ऑब्जेक्ट रोल ओवर अ सर्फेस जब एक ऑब्जेक्ट दूसरे सर्फेस पे रोल करेगा उसको हम बोलते हैं रोलिंग फ्रिक्शन करेक्ट लिमिटिंग फ्रिक्शन क्या है इट इज द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन जस्ट बिफोर स्लाइडिंग स्टार्ट बिटवीन टू सर्फेस जस्ट बिफोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेट मी आस्क यू वट इज द मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन पॉसिबल आंसर इन द चैट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन लेट से ओके लेट मी शो यू स्मॉल क्विक एनिमेशन ओवर हेयर एक्सप्लेन वाई स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन इज लेस देन स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन सो वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड द स्लाइडिंग फ्रिक्शन इज लेस बिकॉज वी जस्ट लर्न दैट नोटिस This kid is applying force on this block, correct? He pushes, 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 but then the block starts to move, and the amount of force required becomes less. This red dots, these red bars, are friction force. So static force maximum value it reaches, and then it decreases, है ना? So the, uh, the decreased value is the sliding friction when the block starts to slide. Fine. Question is why is sliding friction less? 
when a body is at rest when a body is at rest it is getting good amount of time to form bonds to form to interlock hai yeah? when a body is at rest उसके पास अच्छा खासा टाइम मिल गया उसको इंटरलॉकिंग बनाने का और बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन के लिए बट वेन अ बॉडी इज स्लाइडिंग इट इज नॉट गेटिंग इनफ टाइम वाई अ बॉडी इज स्लाइडिंग इट इज ट्राइंग टू फोर ए कैच कैच के मिस हो गया सो यू कैन थिंक ऑफ इट लाइक दिस वेन अ बॉडी इज स्लाइडिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम विच विच दीज स्लाइडिंग सर्फेस गेट टू फॉर्म द बॉन्ड्स विच विल रिजल्ट इन मोर फ्रिक्शन इज नॉट मच सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रिड्यूस्ड टाइम कॉन्टैक्ट टाइम दैट्स वाई द Sliding friction is less than static friction. ठीक clear हो गया Fine. Okay. Next topic is friction. It is a necessary evil. Till now, friction seemed to be like a bad guy. अरे यार friction opposes. I have to apply more force because of friction. If friction was not there, I would have just nicked and the body would have moved. Heavy से heavy object, I would have just <clears throat> pushed and the body would have started. Fri friction is a bad guy, no? Uh, uh, think again. Friction is a necessary evil. Bura hai, but zaruri hai. Why? Think. Why is friction as a foe? Foe means enemy. Foe is enemy. Why is friction your enemy? Because because of friction, your tires of your cycle they get wear and tear and they become smooth. when the new tire comes it has nice grips nice cuts and everything but after few years the tire goes like smooth right so this is because of friction your soles of your shoes they get worn out because of friction because of friction you have to change your machine parts all of these are enemy right that's why friction you don't like friction you have to apply more force because of friction so all of this is something you can say friction is opposing but why is friction your friend everything you do it's because of friction you are able to walk because of friction imagine you yourself imagine yourself standing on a floor made up of ice and trying to walk nicely the way you are walking in your school do you think you'll be able to know you'll just keep falling so this is friction helping you out you are able to write you are able to hold the pen you are able to hold a lot of things you are able to do so many things car buses trains everything brakes you are applying because of friction so all of this is as a friend you are lighting a matchstick because of friction so friction is very important few things uh, you have to compromise with friction right so how the question comes give three reasons where friction acts as a foe or an enemy or a bad guy give three reasons where friction might act as a friend right as a hiteshi hiteshi in hindi hiteshi means well wisher fine okay how to increase and decrease friction that's the next topic right so friction we have seen it's good also little bit bad also but how to increase friction how to decrease friction because if you can control this thing then you can use friction where you want to and you can decrease friction where you don't want to where, where you don't want friction fine so how to increase the friction you make the surface more rough because uh, roughness increases friction right and that is the reason your tires have all these grooves your uh, sole of the shoe have all these grooves right because they increase the grip so that is what increasing the friction and i mean in the bat they put this grip on the bat no on the handle you have this habit of putting a rubber grip on the on the bat handle right so that your hand doesn't slip you are increasing the grip and by the way the name is also grip in bats next uh, wrestlers weightlifters they put this powder sort of a thing but this powder is not the powder you are thinking this powder is something else it increases their uh, you can say grip friction increases fine decreasing friction when do you say you can decrease the friction see one is putting powder that powder on the uh, carrom boards because before the powder the striker was kind of it was just stopping after some time but when you have powder what does what uh, what's the difference you just strike and goes like tuck 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 it slides very nicely so that powder is reducing the friction and that's the reason uh, you can say friction is decreased using powder on carrom boards next you grease the uh, uh, moving parts of your bicycles you put grease over there you put machine oils in your fan so all of these are ways of reducing friction lubrication you can say fine next we understand rolling friction is the 
least amount of friction and static friction is the max amount of friction if it's possible if you have two things which are sliding over each other what if you place rollers in between them because rolling friction is less right? so in ancient times what people did they started putting logs of wood between things so try try moving your hand like this and then place your pen in between oh this feels very good so they thought maybe what if we convert sliding friction to rolling friction it will reduce the friction and that's where ball bearings came into picture so ball bearings without the ball bearings these two uh, circles would have been sliding over each other but because of ball bearings now they are rolling among each other which is reducing the friction so three ways of reducing friction ball bearings lubrications in machine parts like machine oil grease third putting uh, powder on the carom board increasing friction making more grooves on rubber tires on your shoe uh, on your sh uh, shoe soles using powder for weight lifting using a grip in your bath so all of these are examples of increasing the friction now a question explain why sportsmen use shoes with spikes i have given you a good amount of hint this is a homework for you come on this is something i want to see in the comment section all right friction in machinery parts come on we understand this lubrication putting machine oil putting grease it reduces friction ball bearings converts sliding to rolling friction the ball bearing fine now one homework question for you what is the homework question it says you spilled a bucket of soapy water on a marble floor accidentally would it make it easier or more difficult for you to walk on the floor explain see grade 8th mein numericals are not there it's mostly about what you saw and what you understood and are you able to explain it here's a question this is something you have to explain in the comment section be creative and write as if you were writing an exam question fine homework question for you but we are not done still wait we have one more topic to cover we call it the fluid friction see till now whatever we uh, whatever we did it was all about friction between two surfaces two solid surfaces but what about fluids like liquids like air do air apply friction is it never saw na i mean i am breathing air no friction it depends you won't realize the fluid friction right now the way we are doing it right now but when you are traveling at a in a vehicle which is going with high speeds there you feel that force on your face on your body right that is what that is the air friction right so fluid friction the friction applied by the fluids or the fl the the opposing force which you experience when you are moving through a fluid right that opposing force is called as the fluid friction there is one more word we use for fluid friction that is called as drag force fine okay so fluid friction yes fluids apply friction what does this drag force or the fluid friction depends upon first it depends upon relative speed It means how quickly your a body inside the fluid is moving if you are passing through the fluid right if you are standing right now or if you are taking a nice walk nobody nobody uh, experiences this uh, fluid friction right but let's say you are on a bike you are sitting behind someone riding the bike obviously you're not driving right now right? so if you are sitting behind the bike and the bike is going super fast so you will realize Okay, you will face so much force on your face. That is what that is air only. Why is uh, is it that you are able to experience this friction now? Because your speed is too much. So it depends on speed. Speed more, more fluid friction. Second, it depends on nature of the medium. If you are moving through water and if you are moving through honey, honey is very thick, very viscous, right? Very dense. So you can say honey may you will experience more frictional force. So it depends on density also. Fine. Okay. Third, shape of the object. I mean. if you are traveling in a car i i always tell this to all my students if you are traveling in a car just for science experiment purposes open the window slightly and put put little bit of your hand outside obviously not in traffic please take so you are going in a nice empty road put slight hand outside you will realize so much air is striking on your palm and you are, your your hand is going like <clears throat> it's very difficult to control my hand it's getting so much force because of air right but what if you change the orientation of your hand your hand is like this now you are able to keep your hand steady you are reducing the amount of area so it depends on shape of the object and that is the reason airplanes rockets missiles fast cars bikes birds 
all of them have a unique shape. We call that shape streamlined shapes, right? Because you want to reduce the amount of friction experience, fine? So, this, my friend, was about fluid friction. And with this, we are done with this small and nice chapter. Again, I'm telling you, in the description, you have a link. You have to kill two links. One link is of notes of this chapter and important questions. Second link is, it's called a smart playlist. It's a free thing for you, again. There you choose your grade, you choose your chapter. From that chapter, you will get all important videos, uh, worksheets, quizzes, a test also in front of you. It's a very nice thing created by our team. I'm proud of it and you're also proud of it. If you like all of these three, uh, these things which are given to you, tell us in the comment section and we'll see each other again. Three things for you. Whatever I have given you, that is sure. But apart from that, what you have to do? First, revise this chapter, practice NCRT questions, exemplar questions. Apart from that, press the like button. What are you waiting for? Press the like button, share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel along with the bell icon. See you till next time.